There's nothing you have to do to be totally free. How do you like that? Why? Right now you're totally free. You're all powerful, you're all knowing, you're everywhere present, you're whole, complete, perfect. Right now, there's nothing you have to do for that. So, says I, why all this effort to be unfree, limited, and miserable? Why, oh, why, oh, why, oh, why? This completes side 3B. Huh? <coughs> this completes side 4A. All you need this to do is get up these suppressed energies. I am limited, I am in bondage, I am miserable. By letting up and letting out, approval control security. You've done it. But why does he do it all? And be done with it. This is the side to be. You'll be in a happy state that you never dreamed existed. You've never tasted the ultimate state yet. This is the side to be. You don't have to do a thing to be free because you're already free. Now listen to side 4B. You have to stop this asinine conviction that you're a suffering body that's going to die and you've got to keep trying to keep it alive until it dies. You draw a blank. You don't win. So let go of all this concept of I'm a limited carcass. Less the CDs. Each one of them will move you closer and closer to freedom. How long should it take? Thank you. A month or two, if you carry out the six steps. I think the step, the steps that you're lacking most in are the very first step. Anybody know what the first step is? You're going to want freedom more than you want the world. None of you want freedom more than you want the world. Were it so, you'd be free. It's that simple. To be what you are is so easy. But if any one of you wanted freedom more than you want the world, you'd be free. So you're out on step one. You can't get over the first step to go the next five. But when the hurt is enough, you release enough to get rid of the hurt so you can try going on looking to the world for your absolute security, which you will never find in the world, which you will only find in you. So get smart. Be what you are. Why all this effort and misery to be what you are not? There's a 100% loss in the direction you're in. Where are all these bodies going to be 100 years from now? Everything you're doing is trying to keep the body going. And if I were to wish you a curse, the greatest one I could think of is to be a physical body. I think the only other one who says that is Ramana Maharshi. That the worst curse would be to condemn you into being a physical body from here on. It's like condemning you into being in a straitjacket from here on. So I try to give you, in all those first meetings we had when we started this project, very practical things that can get you free quickly. And the last one is such a powerful one, I think I'm not going to give you any more practical things to do because it'll confuse and jumble what you've already gotten. What have you gotten? Those signs in your room. 
get everything you want only by releasing. Has it worked, Kevin? Are you getting everything now, bro? But everything you do want, you should get by releasing. Do you have that in place? Okay, when you have everything in place, you have the sense of not being the doer. When you're getting everything by releasing, you become a witness, whereas before you were a doer of it. <coughs> you just witness your body going through its motions. <coughs> With a complete sense of non-doership, which should be spelled with a T instead of a P. See, that makes it effortless. When you're not the doer, there's zero effort in it, and it happens harmoniously and immediately. What are the other three or four steps I gave you before that last one? Do you remember what was it? Be successful. Yeah, now these are practical things. Be successful in whatever it is you're doing. It's digging a hole or pulling up some rocks, whatever it is. Be successful in whatever it is you do. What was another one? The first one was um, less one thing about the world. Get all your happiness and joy from within, from the receiving. Yeah. <clears throat> Recognize that all the joy you'll get is from getting your mind quiet by satisfying a desire and just being your beingness. There is only one single joy. That's when you're being your beingness. But you set up a, a rack, a want, a desire to agitate the mind and when you fulfill the desire, the mind goes quiet and you're just being, and that's the joy you feel. There is no other joy. So get all your joy from your beingness. Is there still one more? What? I'm just wondering if that isn't too forceful, bring up the fear of dying. That'll do it for you, if you'll do it. But you're not free now, so you didn't do it. <laughs> See, all the suppressed fear of dying, <clears throat> right now is trying to push up and push out. You just stop holding it in. On its own, it would all go out, pronto. But I'd still recommend using it, <clears throat> to the degree you can use it. When you have no more fear of dying, your mind goes quiet, you're identifying with your beingness, and you're free. Nice and simple, nice and easy. The only difficulty is trying to be a limited carcass. That's where all your difficulty is or your misery. Everything you do not want <clears throat> is involved in trying to be a limited body. So discriminate, my son. Yudhiswar said to Yogananda when he left him after his return, Recognize the world as a dream. That's all it is. You're dreaming this whole thing. Exactly like you'd be dreaming a night dream. <coughs> Wake up and see it for the dream that it is. And be infinitely happy.
Are there any questions on what I just went through? It's really giving you the very top knowledge in the most practical way you could ever get it. Those different steps are very practical. Of course, being out here is another one of the steps. Living with people who release. Living with people that you can express on and both of you release. As I said again and again, I'm convinced you'll never go free in the world. The world is too powerfully pulling everyone down into the worldly way of things. You need to get away from that pull, work together as a group, use your expressing for releasing. In the world, any one of you go out there, you have to suppress, otherwise you'll get killed. You express your anger to the wrong person, they'll shoot you, if not beat you up. It gets better that way every day. They got hundreds of policemen in California patrolling the streets to stop the gang slayings. Yesterday there were three killings by the gangs in Los Angeles. You can't stop it out there. But you have a wonderful opportunity here of expressing, releasing, and moving onward and upward. Again, any questions on anything I've said? Now that you all understand it so well, when I come back next week, I expect to see two, four, six, eight free people. Or else. <laughs> What? <laughs> you know what the word gone means in the uh, hip language? What? Gone? Tops. Okay, if there's no more. There is a question. I know that you can get to when I see the. Uh, I'm not sure I have to see if this is a dream. Just remember it. Well, the shortcut is <clears throat> simply this way. It's only your mind that says there's a less to here and there's two or there, right? Well, let me just back up a little bit. When you're in a night dream, you don't sense materiality. And in the day dream, things have form, touch them. You have form in the night dream. You've got your body, you've got other bodies. It doesn't feel like I, I have an image of it in my mind, but I don't feel like I am the uh, Wait a minute. Material. When you're in a dream state, you're in a dream body. Of course, you're not in the physical body, you're not in that state. But this is what you're saying. That's why I have a problem seeing this as a dream state. Because it has no, to be No, and you do wake up from the night dream. You do not wake up from this daydream. This is the problem. Because you're so convinced that this daydream is real, that you're in it and won't let it go. Release it. Then you'll, then you'll see the dream nature of this physical world. Release it. If you're holding on it for dear life like you are, you're not releasing it, you're doing the opposite. And that's why you don't see it as a dream. The same in a night dream, when you're struggling for your life, and the dream is going on, it's real. It's only after you wake up from the dream that you know it's unreal. You've got to wake up from this dream. By letting go of your Tight holding on to it by releasing it. Then it will be very obvious to you that this so-called waking state is exactly as real as a night dream is real. But you've got to wake up. 
fuck, experienced it, you think it's, it's bad. Release the back part of it. It's on, it will remain permanently. Or release one thing, the fear of dying. That'll take care of everything. One thing only you've got to release, one thing only, the fear of dying. But don't do it. You can you discover your omnipotent, omniscient, can have anything you want from mere effortless thought of it. You can materialize, dematerialize, you can teleport, you can telepath, you can tell anything you want. That seems like it's in direct opposition to uh, being the doer, which I'm, not, I'm releasing towards being not the doer. Okay, to be in that state, you can only be in it when you know you're not the doer. Okay, now say tomorrow morning I wake up and I'm going to say, but I can't say I'm going to be a witness to the arcana. You can't say it, you can be it only. So, see, to be your being, it's the top state's being your being is only. You can't say it. Anything you say is in duality, is in the dream. In a day to day action, then I might be in process of witnessing. There might be some goal that I might release on totally, and it may. We'll come in without Yeah, you're letting go of your attachments and aversions to the world, bit by bit by bit by bit. What you need is a big bite instead of a bit of a bit. So you use what you're doing for releasing. See, the only effort you need is to get rid of your effort. This is what you're doing in the world. You're using effort to get rid of the effort. But in your beingness, you need no effort. Things materialize and dematerialize instantly. But if you're trying to figure it out in your head, you cannot because your head, your mind, your intellect is the obstacle. It's an accumulation of concepts of limitation. So you can't figure it out in your head. You can be your beingness. You are being it right now. But you don't have to be a limited carcass. And this is what you're releasing as you work and go through the day. You release all attachments and aversions by getting rid of the emotion connecting you to it. Did I answer your question? Yes, it was essentially I don't feel like I'm trying to figure it out, but I can see I can't jump the puddle. You did answer it by Yeah, you can't figure it out. By day to day, but my releasing moment to moment, or I can shortcut the whole thing by releasing fear of dying. Right. That's, that's pretty much what it is. Right. Releasing approval control is also shortcutting it. Instead of going through all those emotions below approval control. When you have no more either approval or control, all the emotions below that are gone. But you'll still have approval or control until you release the fear of dying. The only reason why you want everyone's approval is so you'll be safe and survive. And if you can't get that, you want to make them approve of you so you'll be safe and that's control. But when you let go of approval or control, all the feelings underneath it are out. Then left is just approval or control which is let go of by letting go of the fear of dying. But when you're that far, it's easy to let the fear of dying come up.
you reach a point where it'll just push up and push out and you'll sit back and watch it complete itself, or discharging itself. And you'll laugh your head off. Or what a silly joke you played upon yourself to think that you were limited when you never were. Okay, any other questions? Okay, so we'll call it a day of eternity.